United States Grand Prix West found its home here in 1976 after Englishman Chris Pook persuaded the authorities that a motor race through the streets would put the town on the map. He was right, but the Americans never took to Formula One. So, in 1984, the Grand Prix Circus departed and IndyCars moved in. That's the Brabham team of Nicky Lauda and John Watson flashing past as Patrick Depaye leaves the pit lane in his Tyrrell Ford. Unlike other American street circuits, Long Beach wasn't built on the grid system. So it's not all right-angled bends and tall buildings. Cars can actually race and pass one another. That's Hadstook Shadow going through at the first hairpin, and now we accelerate hard down Shoreline Drive. It was while Clay Regazzoni was under heavy braking in his ensign here for Queen's hairpin that his brake pedal snapped in 1980 and the ensuing crash ended the popular Swiss driver's colourful career. And as we round Queen's hairpin, Jean-Pierre Jabouy goes past in the Renault Turbo. Incidentally, this was the first time that Alain Boinard was allowed to send his camera out among other cars. Previously, he'd been confined to five minutes or so before official practice. Now we accelerate up the short hill which leads onto Ocean Boulevard and the finish, but not the start. That is on Shoreline Drive. the chute and onto Linden Avenue. Japaye is trying really hard now as he takes us for another lap. 